That's how we do it right there. Come on. Keep shooting. Yes! There we go! Exploded. Oh, that is so cool. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out an absolutely insane mod for the Moonhawk. Actually, it's not a Moonhawk anymore. It's a Firehawk, as you can see. So you might be wondering, what makes this car so special besides the fancy paint job? Well, for starters, it's got six wheels. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing is just a little bit insane. It doesn't just have six wheels, though. It also has a Spitfire engine. Yes, from the plane, the very famous World War II fighter jet. That huge engine is inside the car. Let's see if we can if we can get a little bit of a peek here. I'm going to have to tear you apart for just a second. Look at the scoop on that hood. Can I even see out of this thing? I, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, I know I probably just gave it away, but there's also there's also a crosshairs there for uh, for reasons. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get the hood off here and we can take a gander at this engine. So let's get it up to 100% strength. We're going to need it and just like a band-aid. Here we go. Rip. There we go. Oh, my God. Look at this engine. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, we gotta start this thing up. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one! Oh, it sounds magical too. Look at it spitting flames. It does, it is a very, it does spit fire pretty well, I must say. That is awesome. Let's see how it drives. Oh, look at that. I broke the windshield, whoops. <laughs> oh wow, it gets up and goes too, man. It, it sounds exactly like the uh, the Spitfire. I'm, I'm guessing you probably got the sound effect from a video of one of these. And look at the interior. Look at the steering wheel. Oh, that's awesome. And it has little switches and a little button on the wheel. So it's basically as close as you can get to a uh, to driving a Spitfire, which is which is crazy. If only we could have a couple wings on here and truly turn this thing into a fighter jet. That would be awesome. We are almost going to 200 miles an hour, by the way. Absolutely insane. Oh my god. This thing is actually pretty quick, 200 miles an hour. There we go. Okay, let's slow it down. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, because I want to take a look at something. Now that we're out in the sunlight, we should be able to see where the guns are hidden away here. So there should be two down here somewhere. There they are. Oh, there's four. So four mounted machine guns. Here, we'll see if we can better, better look at these things. Four mounted machine guns hidden away under the engine. Now, how will they shoot, you might wonder? Well, go up here and type in the controls. If we push the up button, two little compartments open up just so we can shoot this thing. And I, it is loud, guys. Listen to this. This is going to be very, very loud. God! <laughs> that is some firepower right there. That is so freaking awesome. This is one of the best mods I've ever seen in my entire life. So let's go back and uh, we're going to fix the car. And I think we need to have a little bit of a pursuit here. So obviously we can use the uh, the machine guns because I just want to tear somebody, tear somebody in half with this machine gun. So you know what? Let's just get a regular Moonhawk up in here. Just a plain as Jane uh, Moonhawk. So I'll have the launch edition. Sure, why the heck not? It works for me. So spawn up, please. Can you hurry up? There we go. Switch back to this monstrosity. Good God, this looks like something, I don't know, something from a nightmare, but something from a dream. Like, I don't know, this is just pure automotive and aviation porn is what this is. And so it's a mix of both worlds, and I think it makes perfect sense to put it into, into a muscle car. That is for sure. All right, so are our compartments open? Yes, they are. So let's turn the AI on, AI on and tell him to flee. And uh, once we once we reach the end of the tunnel, I am gonna open fire on this dude. I'm gonna absolutely evaporate, evap, evaporate. No, vaporize this guy. Not evaporate. What am I saying? All right, so it's uh, pretty obvious that I'm quite a bit faster. So, oh well. Let's see if we can actually. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's all it takes. Oh wow, really? There's a 
just keep shooting at him. Jesus, it's shredding him. Turning him into Swiss cheese over here. Let's keep shooting. Maybe I can hit the tire. God. It just, it just is absolutely destroying that guy. Holy crap, man. That is awesome. All right. Well, we kind of damaged ourselves, but that's all right. Here. Hit him again. Yeah, we still have 400 ammo, too. All right, so pieces are just falling off. He doesn't really look like a car anymore. Let's we'll just keep shooting until he stops moving. Makes sense to me. Oh, God! <laughs> That's how we do it right there. Come on, keep shooting. Yes! There we go! He exploded. Oh, that is so cool. That is so freaking cool, man. I love this so much! All right, so... This isn't actually the only uh, version we have of this car. So, if we go back to the Moonhawk. Come on. Did I not push the button? Or did I break the game? Uh-oh. Okay, no, no. There it goes. It just took a <laughs> My BMG gets slower by the day. I probably should clean it up a little bit. Anyway, if we go down, we will see we have a pink version, which is the V12. And it says, custom version of six-wheel with a Rolls-Royce V12 engine. And then we have the V12 custom. And I guess that's the, the same thing. And then we have the Firehawk, which, uh, yeah, halfway between a famous plane and a weird car. <laughs> but they all sound the same, so I imagine they all have the same engine. Now, the only difference between these two is the paint job. I've, I've checked. It still has the machine guns. And the V12 does not have the uh, machine guns, but I think it is a little bit faster. I could be wrong. But let's go ahead and spawn it up anyway and see. Oh, yeah, and the, the exhaust come out the top of the car, which is, you know, awesome in and itself. But, uh, yeah, I think this one is a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. But, you know, let's just run into this guy. We've already murdered him. So, let's see if we can, like, ramp off him. Nope. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Okay, I want to have another I want to have another uh, pursuit here. Uh, is it really a pursuit if I'm just uh, shredding him? At, at any chance he, I can get to shred this dude? I, I don't even know. But it's cool nonetheless. So, let's get back our, uh, our Spitfire edition here. And uh, let's tear somebody up, man. Looking good, looking good. Don't move yet. We need something a little bit faster because, like I, like you guys saw, this the uh, the Spitfire one is capable of going 200 miles an hour. So we need to spawn something that can also go 200 miles an hour. It only makes sense. And do we have anything that's a little bit uh can probably take a little bit more shots? Maybe I don't know. Maybe like the uh, the bus. I mean, I know this thing's not going to go 200 miles an hour, but it might be able to actually take some shots here. So, you know what? We haven't used the Zebra edition. Why the heck not? We'll use the Zebra. Actually, no, no we're going to use the Bus Destroyer. Hell yes! This thing can actually go pretty quick. And it should be kind of tough to uh, take out with just mere bullets. All right, there she is in all her glory. So, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. So, AI, flee! And you're off. I'll give you a few seconds after we get out of the uh, this tunnel here. I think that's a pretty good space to uh, to start shooting. So let's actually toggle the guns. There we go. I love that. I think it would be also be really cool if they were on top of the car. But this works too. It's it's more discreet. <laughs> I don't know why you need to be discreet in a car like this, but yeah, the guns are discreet at least. That guy is moving. Holy crap! Oh, I did not expect him to be that. Well, we're fine. We're catching up to him. All right, so. Start shooting. Actually, let's get the first person. He's right in my sights. Oh, it's lined up perfectly. Yes. Okay. Let's keep shooting. We're we hitting him. Yes, we are. Beautiful. Whoa, look out for debris. Uh oh. Where's the gas tank on this thing? I want to aim for the gas tank. Man, we're just shooting directly into his engine right here. Is he losing it? Hold on. Oh, stuff is flying off. Okay. Just keep firing. Keep firing. I think I popped one of his tires. Oh man. Here, let's get to the side. He's still going. Oh yeah, there's one of the front tires just absolutely shredded. He is slowing down big time. Wow. I guess all it really takes is a couple shots to the engine from a Spitfire and you're pretty much going to go down. I mean, that makes sense to me actually. I kind of like this view because it does show you exactly where the bullets are going. Let's just use the re little rest of them here. There we go. Alright, so we're out. And I honestly don't think that he's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. The frame rates went to hell. Oh, man. All the windows shot out. You should probably just stop. There you go. We got him. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he can try to go away, but he can't really go fast on a flat tire and a bus. Oh, he's going to ram me. Don't ram me. Oh, what are you doing, man? All right, let's do that again. 
It's so fun, man. It's so fun. I love it. All right, so toggle the guns. And I'm going to go. I'm not going to shoot the engine this time. I'm going to go for more towards the front this time. So, or towards the side. So, boo. There we go. Two shots. Come on, speed it up, speed it up. It, it, this car is a little bit hard to control at high speeds. I imagine it's just because it probably weighs a ton. I imagine that engine just is absolutely massive, so it probably weighs quite a lot. So, there we go. There goes one of the doors. I'm sure he doesn't need it. Couple into the... Ooh, I see sparks flying. Let me see if I can hit his tire. Come on. Come on. Maybe I should pull back a little bit. Maybe hitting him from a distance makes the bolts go higher. I'm not actually sure. So let's hold back just a tad here. There we go. And keep shooting. Keep shooting. There we go. There we go. Look out for debris in the road. Ooh, don't, don't, don't crash. Don't crash. There we go. Man, we are just roasting this guy right now. Holy crap. <laughs> you know, we, oh man, it gets laggy once you uh, shoot all the bullets. That's for sure. Oh God, look at this. Why you lag game? He's still going though, so I guess uh, I guess that engine is indestructible. Let's see if you, man, that the, the frame rates I'm getting right now are just absolutely atrocious. Okay, 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 and I crashed. All right, so why don't we do like a proper pursuit here? So we're gonna go to West Coast USA, and uh, not go in a straight line because I think that makes it a little bit more challenging on my part, and that's uh, that's what I want to strive to be. I want to I want to be good at everything, not just shooting fish in a barrel like we are right now. Quite literally. All right, so this time I think we're gonna match the uh, Spitfire Moonhawk versus the Firehawk. So the same car. Uh, I'm gonna drive the Firehawk just because I love the way this thing looks, and I think I'm gonna chase down the Pink Beast here, the V12. All right, so there's that. We're gonna spawn the Pink Beast. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> it makes more sense than just the V12. It's the Pink Beast. All right, so we're gonna spawn that right there. Looking good. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 hurry up. There we go. All right, so first person, and let's set him to flee. There we go. What my car freak out there? Not really sure. Anyway, here we go. So let's uh, make sure the uh, the guns are armed. Whoa, whoa, is he shooting at me? Does he know how to shoot at me? Oh, God, he spun me out. Okay, this is fine. I got a little bit too carried away there, but it's okay. Let's just chase him down. Hopefully he doesn't crash. Here, let's get a better camera angle here. All right, he's taking a left here, I think. I saw him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did I, I didn't lose him already. Man, he's moving! Oh, that that, be, that mistake at the beginning might have cost me there. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're fine. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> and he's done. He is done. Oh, my God. I think we got him, boss. <laughs> I think we got him. You can probably stop shooting him now. All right, let's check the damage. What is 400 rounds going to do to your car? This is what it's going to do right there. Holy crap, man. So, yeah, I would say very effective. Very effective indeed. And they're hidden. Alrighty, so for our car jump arena run here, it's going to be a little bit different because we can actually shoot at the cars that are downstairs, that are down there at the end of the ramp here. So it should be pretty interesting. I don't know if it's actually going to do much, but it'll be interesting nonetheless. So let's wait for it to line up here. There we go. 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 Yep. There we go. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Oh, man. This thing packed a punch, though. Oh, the entire front of our car is wrecked. But we at least got a few shots into these things, so that's kind of cool, I guess. I wish I could, like, aim the guns upwards, though. That would be kind of cool. Or have, like, a digital um, a digital crosshair so I could see where they're going to hit. I don't know. I, I just think that would be cool. Anyway, let's get back to normal here and actually see how far this thing can fly on the car jump arena. Oh, wow. Pretty far past the 400 mark. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and we're going into the pool. Yes, where all great episodes of BMG end up. The pool or some sort of lake or the bottom of some canyon. And that's the way it should be, honestly. Anyway, uh, I will leave the link to this mod down below. I highly suggest you check it out. 
if you love anything Beeman G or classic uh, jet fighters. So, yes, I'll leave that down below. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and notification bu bell so you know whenever I upload a video because YouTube doesn't like to tell people anymore. At least not all the time. Anyway, that's going to do it. I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.